Um, right, what are we here to talk about today? Uh, the, oh, hang on, catch my breath. Uh, the metric system of measurement. What did we have before the metric system? Well, we had the imperial system, um, which was a sort of a hodgepodge made up of lots of different things that just developed over, I guess, thousands of years, or certainly, you know, hundreds of years. So, for example, uh, the Romans came up with a foot as a unit of length, which, you know, made a lot of sense. That's a very sensible unit of measurement to have. If, certainly, if you just need a rough idea, people could, you know, how far is it from here to that bridge? Well, I could literally use my feet. And then, well, they needed a longer unit of length, so they came up with a mile, which was 5,000 feet. Made sense, that's a nice round number, nice and easy to deal with. Until the, um, I'm not sure who it was, someone, the British government in the 16th century decided that actually a mile should be um, not 5,000 feet, but it should be exactly eight furlongs. And a furlong is 660 feet, so one mile became 5,280 feet. A furlong is still used today in horse racing, actually. They talk about a course being eight furlongs long, for example. Um, right, so that is units of length. You can see, not that easy to deal with. 5,280 feet. Uh, what if I've got 1.2 miles? How many feet is that? Quite hard to deal with, yeah? Um, so, also, if we talk about units of weight, in the, in the UK, we still tend to talk about people's weight in stones and pounds, okay? So I'm about 13 stone, and in the US they use pounds, and what we do in the UK, we put 14 pounds together and that makes one stone, okay? So uh, to work out my weight in pounds, I'm 13 stone, every stone is 14 pounds, so I'd need to do 13 times 14, which is uh, 140, 182 pounds, okay? If I wanted to break that down into more detail, that, so we've got stones, which are these quite large units, then we've got pounds, which are you know, sort of, you know, smaller, um, and then if you want to break that down even further, let's say you're cooking, for example, you break that down into ounces, and there are 16 ounces in every pound, right? 16 ounces in a pound, 14 pounds in a stone, just awkward, yeah? Not easy to deal with. The metric system, so much better. You have one kilogram, and a kilogram is made up of a thousand grams. And one gram can be divided up into milligrams, okay? That's dividing it up into a further thousand parts. Um, so that's weight. Length, we talk about meters, and a meter can be broken down into a hundred parts. Each of those is a centimeter. Or it can be broken down into a thousand parts and each of those parts is a millimeter. Or you can put a thousand meters together to make a kilometer. The point being, it, it's, um, it's quite easy to multiply things by 10 or 100 or a thousand. So it's really easy to make those conversions between those very small units um, like a milligram, going up to a gram, then going up to a kilogram if you want. It's quite easy to switch between the two, um, which is why the metric system, I think, is absolutely brilliant. You can even sort of, well, not sort of, you can convert between the different units. So one milliliter, okay, that is a litre broken up into a thousand parts. One milliliter is equal to one cubic centimeter. Okay, it's a cube that is one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter. So it even makes sense that way. One milliliter also of water, a milliliter of water weighs exactly one gram. So it's just, it just all ties in beautifully and it's really easy to make all these different conversions. Um, around, around the world, everyone has adopted this metric system uh, the UK and the US, we're still dragging our heels and we still, we do use a metric system, or in the UK anyway, but we also still talk about sort of feet and inches, or you ask someone their weight, they'll tell you in stones and pounds. Um, but the metric system, so much better, so much better. It, there's more, there's more. It's even really good because um, remembering the different words is actually really easy because the meters are broken up into centimeters and millimeters. Um, liters are broken up into milliliters and centiliters. 
Her grams are broken up into milligrams. We don't really talk about centigrams, do we? I guess you could, you know, people would know what you mean. Um, and then if you build them up, you have a kilo meter, a kilo gram. Kilo litre, don't really use that one, do we? But you could, okay? And so the language is this. A kilo is when you put a thousand of them together. Kilometer, thousand meters, kilogram, thousand grams. A milli is when you've broken it up into a thousand. A milligram is a gram split up into a thousand parts. A millimeter is a meter split up into a thousand parts. A milliliter, well you get the idea, yeah? Um, centi, centigram, uh, cent means 100, doesn't it? So that's when it's been broken up into 100. A centiliter is a liter broken up into 100 parts. Um, right, I feel like I'm rambling on a bit now. I'm going to stop talking. Uh, that was definitely not a minute Monday. That was more like a five minute ramble, really, as opposed to a minute Monday. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next week on another Minute Monday.